welcome to the final part of uh, our Halloween special on Halloween. Yes, uh, going out live on Halloween. So turn off your lights and get somebody else to deal with the trick or treaters because we're going to play some retro games. Um, and we're going to play the best of the rest. So things that we haven't already got to and um, things that we've bounced from earlier shows. So um, big shout out to the chat room. Hello, Nutty Cluster and Tech93. Nice to see you. And we'll um lot to get through. So we're probably just better off getting cracking, don't you think? Yeah, why not? That's like boom to here. Oh, we're not doing Mega Drive. There is some Mega Drive, but... Uh... Go away, go away. There we go. Um, Right, we're actually starting back where it all began. Kind of. She tweets. I know there were others before it, but the Atari VCS, the Atari 2600. Um, arguably popularised home gaming. And we're going to do a couple of um, games from that that I've got no idea what to, what they are. Well, I know what they are. I don't know how to play them. So let's find out, shall we? Ah. Uh, Um, okay, let's look for a screen for you. Of course, the first one we're playing is Frankenstein's Monster. Uh, so I don't remember playing this as a youth. There we go, doesn't it look pretty? Um, so... Yeah, I've got no idea what we're doing here. So, for a change. So, let's have a look, shall we? Oh, I remember. It's been a long time since we've played um, an Atari VCS one. So, let's make sure it's set to the right controls. Looks like it. Okay, controller switched on, but it ain't doing anything. Why is that? How annoying. Indeed, so, so blocky. Um. I don't know how much charge this has got left on it, but um, let's see what we get. I mean, what better thing to play uh, an Atari VCS game with than uh, Atari VCS controller? This is the modern one from the new Atari VCS. Um, and let's see if it's just gonna. Is it gonna pair? Am I gonna have to do anything? I'd, Come on, I've had you paired on this machine before. You little minx. Wow. I don't know if you guys will be able to hear it, but uh, it's raining like a bastard. We have a lot of damp trick-or-treaters. Oh, well. No Atari 2600 for us tonight. It was only two games, so... <sighs> We're not missing uh, an awful lot. Oh, we'll give it one last. One last. Oh, oh, oh. I, why, why does it do that? But it pretended to work for a second then, just to give me hope. Then it... Oh! 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 Okay. Well, that was bad. Oh! 
So I've got a bit to have a jump. Which is a bit rubbish. None of my buttons are doing anything. So we're going to say poop to that. That's what we're going to say. Poop. Um, we did also have a bit of Halloween. But if we can't use our controller... I imagine that would get quite irritating. So, do we need the button? Oh! See, I can't, I can't move any further down than that. You're gonna see the, uh, the first, the first beheading in a video game. Spurting blood and everything. Um. But anyway, so I can't go any lower than that. Oh, you can't see it. Dag, nab it. Of course you can't see it. Oh, oh, I ask you. But you could hear it, though. And hearing it was the best part. Because this is the screen. This is what it looks like. Right, so you want to see the first beheading on a on a video game. Oh, there she goes. She's not a very good babysitter. So the idea of this game is to run away from Michael Myers and try and pick up the kids and move them somewhere safe. But I can't. That's as far down that green bit that I can, as I can move. So if the kid is down, oh, if the kid is down there, then I can't help them. Oh, here he is again. Oh, get me a coat hanger. No, oh, that must be the end of the house. At least he plays his theme tune on a Bon Tempe every time. Oh. Anyway, that's enough cool tunes. Um, oh, I wonder if that's going to get copyright struck. On YouTube because even though it was an Atari VCS it was very close to it um, we will find out tomorrow anyway that was the Atari VCS yay yay for the Atari VCS we're gonna go now to this let me just check the snares because we missed a few on our snares show um, and we're gonna get them out of the way now and we're going to play them in alphabetical order, I guess. So. So then. Hmm. Did we push them because they were crap? Or did we uh, just run out of time? Who knows? But we'll know soon. Because here's the adventures of Dr. Franken on the SNES. Uh, embiggen it for you. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, looks a bit like the um, the game we played last week. Was it last week? With the um, head on legs. The cap attack? Looks a bit like that. Animation style. I've got no idea what it's going to play like. All right, jumpy jump. Kick. Kick. Ooh. Okay. I imagine kick's going to be the one we need most. Oh, down there. Come on, down the stairs. Oh, is it going to be one of these that doesn't... Why have we got downstairs? Right, that is it. No, nope, can't jump up there either. Oh. Well, you can't kick them very easily, can you? Holy crap bags. The other way. Oh, for Pete's sake. See, it's all down to patience. Right, I don't have any. As you can see. Right. So, why is he kicking that way? What if it... All right, so I've got one button that kicks back backwards and one button that kicks forward. Maybe you're not supposed to just touch them. Whoa. Can't even kick the box. anywhere else either right am I missing something with this control system no right can I go down there ah jumpy jump gotcha so you would feel that you should be able to break them wouldn't you yeah, I finally killed something. Woo! Oh, I needed a pee. Them. and stuff if I can't break them. I mean, do I come back with it? Perhaps come back with a big gun later. Don't have any other options. Oh, he's waiting for me, any. P. Okay, that's it for down here. Is 
this where everything goes tits up. Yeah. Do I have to go back and get all the stuff? Okay, so I still got the passport. in the room just staring him down Wait, who's gonna move first oh it's me because i've no patience oh just catch up with the chat room oh hello mob scene to you how's it going So I, when I kick, I can appear behind the column, but I can't go past the column. You know, they're talking about Monkey Island in the chat room. Uh, it's Naughty Cluster's a big Monkey Island fan. Uh, in fact, we may be organising a special um, show where we, we get Naughty Cluster on to... Um, Run through Monkey Island. We'll play a bit of Monkey Island, maybe. Oh. Okay, so I've got a piece of passport that I don't have yet. Where would that be? Didn't go along here, did I? Did I? I mean, this is where I started. Did I go? No, oh, no, you can't go through. Can't go through. So, all right. So that's where I was at the other side. Fair enough. So, so have I missed something down here? All right. What's this? How can I? Uh, Oh, I've only got a minute left. But that doesn't matter, because... I died. I died. Um, we can't start anywhere else. Unfortunately. So... Well, I guess we'll carry on. See if we can find that last bit of passport. Um, let's have a look downstairs. I think we've had that pee before. Secret bit. Uh, you you are uh, correct, um, 
mob scene to you. It's um, and it's quite funky. So right, so I can't go through the exit because I don't have all the passport. But at least you know where it is now. Oh, how do I get out? Huh. Okay, so it's not in that bottom layer. We have another go. Let's start at the bottom. Maybe I should start at the actual bottom first. And work my way up. Do it methodical like. Okay, so that's the only bit of passport down there. Next level. Flying head. Sounds like a very tactical sex act. Okay. Oh, I keep forgetting to respawn. What's a daddy? Boot in there. Okay. So that's lo those levels done, logically speaking. Him. Do you want to know what this platform is down here though? How'd you get into that? Okay, so let's go up to the next level. Not that level. Oh, we've looked here, haven't we? Because this is where we started. Yeah. That's the third part, but you have to go all the way to the top to get round to that one. Okay. Uh, right. Can't get all those steps for some reason. side of the bathroom. Nothing behind those. Okay, so we've got three parts which we had last time. So it would suggest This is as far right as we can go. Oh, we're taking too long. No, we can't do that. Oh, fuck off. But now we know 
Okay, so now should be just a case of going to the bottom to get out. Should have a pee before I go, I guess. Hurrah! We've completed a level. Holy fucking shirt balls. Isn't even sure which way to go then. What if we go the other way? Fall into an underground cavern. Oh, they're really difficult to get. Oh, I missed my batteries. Dagnab it. Should we have a look at the other level before we quit? Why not? Oh, why can't I get close enough to get the blue thing? Oh well. That's as good a time as any to um, quit the adventures of Dr. Franken on the snares. Boom. Um, I feel the next one, it's got a similar kind of name. So um, let's have a look. We'll return after these messages. Gotta go. Hey, guy, you're the first serious gamer I've seen all morning. Check this out. Brand new 16-bit Super Nintendo with Super Mario World. Wow! Oh, what's this one? Oh, this is a Sonic the Hedgehog from Sega Genesis. Hey, look at these radical colors, huh? Wow, Sonic's fast, too. No, over here. I like Genesis, and it costs a lot less. Look, kid, that game I'll there. take Sonic and Genesis. <laughs> I knew that. Sonic the Hedgehog. More action, more speed. What? Sega Genesis, it's a whole lot more for less. At the Twisted Tales of Spike McFang. No, you're showing fine. Fine, fine. Um, right, let's see. Let's see all about Spike McFang. Um, so mob scene, uh, mob scene to you. I um, I have a list for tonight, but I'm happy to take recommendations going forward. Yeah, just let me know. Um, we've already got 11, 11 or 
eh, yeah, it could actually be 13 things we need to get through tonight. But I'll happily look at anything else. Um, as long as I can emulate it on my Mac, then... Uh, or possibly on my Steam Deck. I'm looking at seeing how easy it would work through my capture card. We'll, uh, we'll see. Sure, no problem. This wasn't what I expected from a Spike McFang. I mean, it's very possible if you've got a really good suggestion, we might bounce one of the other things. Oh, what have we got? Well, that one. This was listed as a horror game. I'm waiting for it to stop. I, I assume it's gonna, we're gonna jump out of the shadow bank. Right. Okay. Um. So. So, it's not often we do this, but let me just pause that one second because Mob Scene to you, thank you for great suggestions. If you go to our YouTube channel, uh, we played we played them on our NES special and our SNES. Oh, was it Mega Drive? I think I think Decap Attack. Yeah. Oh, you say Mega Drive? I'm sorry, I'm not reading properly. Um. We did a Mega Drive special, all of Mega Drive games, and played Decap Attack. And um, we've definitely played Monsters in My Pocket. Um, and I enjoyed both those games. So, um, yeah, there you go. But thank you for the suggestions. Uh, brilliant minds think alike, I guess. Okay, let's go back to... This This is it's bothering me, this, this Spike McFang business. Let's see what happens. We're not here to play bloody RPGs. Are those sheep? <sighs> Dracumon. See, if I have to read a lot of story... It's already winding me up. I was expecting a, a, I don't know, perhaps a werewolf. Cartoon werewolf called Spike McFang. Been running five minutes, so I'm still on the story. More Zelda. Ah, Tech 93. You've watched our Zelda episode, have you? More Zelda, indeed. Um, there are enough games that we probably will do another Zelda, but <laughs> yeah. Nutty Cluster knows. She knows. We might have a proper crack at, at, at the first Zelda, maybe. I seem to remember there was at least one of them that I liked. Alright, we've got Drooling Ghouls. Right, if there's much more story, I'm going to turn it off. I'm just warning it.
done. I'm done. I've not even played anything other than pressing the button looking at Starry. I'm done. <laughs> no. I refuse. I refuse. Maybe we might come back to it when it's not a horror show, but bloody hell. What on earth was that? Um, right. I, uh, blah, blah, blah. Time for a virgin. Nom, 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 nom. Um, this is called Wolf Child. Let's see how we get on. <sighs> okay, so Tech 93. I should try Terraria on my Steam Deck. So, did you just previously say it needs more than one person, though? So we'd need to get a bunch of people together. You know, like a community, I guess. Um, but yeah, I'm open to that. I'm open to that. I think I can just stick the Stream Deck into the t capture card. Uh, don't know what the lag's going to be like, but yeah. Always evolving. We always take suggestions and we, you know... Uh, right, what's this game then? What's it all about, Alfie? Oh, jump, punch him face, and do whatever that is. Little dance? Oh, is that the superpower that kills everything? This is like Strider! Honey and Strider, he had a big sword. How do I get up there? Come here, yeah. Can't get up there. That's annoying. Can I get up there by going up here? There you go. Punch him in the knees. I mean, this isn't very Halloween either. I don't know why it's listed in horror games. Ow! It's gonna go bad in it. I'm gonna. Like, oh, they can't really see me coming if I kneel down. They don't run away. All right, so it's a four player. Okay. Uh, I'm not disinterested. I will, well, I will have a look once uh, <laughs> once my hands are free again. And we'll, um, we'll see what we can do. Oh. Thanks for the follow, mob scene to you. Always appreciated. Oh, I'm right back at the start again. That's disappointing. I want a big sword like Strider. Oh, Nutty Cluster's on the case. Cheers, Nutty Cluster. Um... Obviously, I'm happy to um, give you some money for that. Oh, 
Sodding now. You have to do a big jump from there. Ooh! So I've turned into a werewolf! Yay! I'm not a werewolf. Disappointing. Oh well, at least we know why it's a uh, horror. Oh, 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 no. Oh, you don't expect me to jump and then duck and then jump and then duck in time, do you? Oh, God. At least I have to start from the top. Is it a boss? It's a boss, isn't it? No! Stop it! Wish I'd been a werewolf. God, how much shit can this take? There we go. Ooh, now, do I need to... Can I just drop off or do I need to jump? Is it going to make me continue from? Ah, oh, why say continue if you're not continuing? Why? Why make me start right from the start again? Math, patience. Downloading it, Naughty Cluster, is going to make your internet crap out. And no, don't. Don't do it. Oh, that ball didn't make me turn into a wolf that time. Lost my patience then. So vicious last time.
Oh. Smoked. Alright, get rid of this boss. Let's see what happens after the boss and then. Call it a day for Wolf Child. See what this, uh, this flying birdie does. Oh. Well, when I touched it, I died. Uh, no. Not continuing. That was Wolf Child. And that was our final SNES game for this evening. We'll return after these messages. Hello, citizens of Europe. As spokesperson for SAPS, the Society Against PlayStation, I'd like to talk to you about a menace threatening humanity. It's happening right here in our very homes and corrupting the lives of our loved ones. Yes, friends, I'm talking about this. It may look like a harmless bagel toaster, but inside is a deadly donut. How do you know PlayStation is not a normal game system? It carries these telltale signs. Scientists say its effects are mind-boggling. Users lose all sense of reality and enter another world. Here we have a normal, healthy young man. And here we have a fellow who's been experimenting with PlayStation for only a few minutes. Proof that we saps must be on our guard. Remember, do not underestimate the power of PlayStation. And we're going to move on to what we what we missing out. So, we've got a Mega Drive game, but it follows uh, one of the Turbo Graphic games that we're going to play later on. So... We're going to move to the PlayStation, the PlayStation 1, and uh, have a couple of PlayStation 1s. Um, but we're going to start. And, you know, if you've been here a long time, you know, um, we are on episode 33. You may remember... Uh, an episode that's going to make me say the c-word yep we're saying the c-word with castlevania symphony of the night now when we did castlevania we ran out of time and we, we i said oh we'll move these to the halloween ones and we had a rough time with castlevania uh not not as rough i think i think we suffered more with metroid but um doesn't even pause when it's sat quietly in the background. Um, yeah, it's... We have a love-hate relationship with uh, Castlevania. So we're going we're gonna to have a little see what, um, what we've got with uh, Symphony of the Night and see... I can't imagine for one minute that um, it's going to win me over. <laughs> Do you know what? I don't mind. I don't mind. Some of the Castlevania games I quite enjoyed. I've not started it yet. I'm going to get you a screen now, chat room. Don't worry. I haven't forgotten you. Um, but I'm too busy ranting about Castlevania to get you a screen. So, look. There were some games I quite enjoyed. I don't dislike Castlevania. Um, I just feel I'm probably not the right person for it. So, um, 
I mean, technically, we've just been playing. Wolf Child is kind of it's a Metroidvania type game. So I don't dislike the game particularly. not a very workmanlike font is it it's just showing off no oh, just i just just want to play i'm um, just yeah just new game new game's fine yeah oh look oh is that not end where's end start journey back to 1792 and the transylvanian countryside of romania surely be that be the romanian countryside of transylvania we won't get into that right. hear the choir budget's gone up Oh, do we watch this or do we just press start? See, how do you, how do you build something like that? How? Bet the architect was blind and deaf and shot. All right. Oh, I don't, oh, don't know what that is, but I like. It. Nice whip. Feels weird playing uh, the opposite direction, right? But... Die, monster. You don't belong in this world. It was not by my hand that I'm oh, once again given flesh. I was called here by humans who wish to pay me tribute. Tribute? You steal men's souls and make them your slaves. Perhaps the same could be said of all religions. Oh. Your words are as empty as your soul. Mankind ill needs a savior such as you. Ill needs. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. But enough talk. How about you? you just don't hear that every very often nowadays, do you? How about you? <laughs> Why can't I whip you, you bitch? I get the feeling I'm not supposed to fight you, I'm just supposed to have my ass kicked. Teach me a lesson. Oh. Alright, that did something to him. Yeah. 
busy looking at it. I wish I could whip straight upwards. That's great, I finished. Yay! The end of the game, that was short. Hope it wasn't very expensive. See, credits and everything. Shaft. Dark Priest Shaft. It's a cool motherfucker. Oh, I can't even skip it. Listen, I can't even press the... Well, it's so complicated now, isn't it? It's like a soap opera. No man can say who shall emerge. To Hogwarts, come on. It's all gone quiet. Is that, is that the hard disk booting up again? Oh. How weird. There's a lot of loading for a, a PlayStation emulation, isn't there? Just keep quiet and cut it out of the YouTube video.
good. You only have to stab it on the nose and it dies. Don't be appear to be getting a lot of things in the lights like you normally do. Ooh. Alucard, what is your business here? I've come to put an end to this. Need some double glazing. Still befriending mortals. I'll not ask you to return to our side, but I demand you cease your attack. I will not. You shall regret those words. We will meet again. Uh, what? <laughs> Did you just take all my goodies? Oh, it didn't all. How unfair. down there. Not that I can get. So this is the um Oh where's my knife gun? Any minute. See? Silent room, though. Gonna come back alive in it because he's ain't disappeared. Yep, that's where it is. Weird having a totally silent room. I keep thinking I've broken it. Stop moonwalking and get out of those bloody stairs. You can't punch it. Oh. 
Could drop me a knife. So, is there a way of getting out that way? Oh, we're back to this bloody. This feels very Metroidy. Feels wrong that that I go going back the way I've come. If anyone knows any different, let me know. Yeah. Feels weird. Feels like wrongness. And yet there isn't anything up here, is there? I haven't already seen. That's the beating heart room. No, it's that room. So the other one's the beating heart room. Powerful enough to fight them. I'm so not powerful enough to fight them. Let us go out this evening for pleasure, the night it is still young. What? <laughs> what on earth is that? <clears throat> anyway. That was Castlevania Symphony of the Night on the PlayStation. We'll return after these messages. Hey, time to load up on PlayStation games. Greatest hits are on sale. Crash Bandicoot. Jet Moto. But I don't even have a PlayStation. You do now. Does Mom know about this? Who? PlayStation. And we stick it with the PlayStation for our um, for one of our viewers' requests uh, on our YouTube channel. Uh, we've had a request from MDP Official, who um, suggested I play Clock Tower on the SNES. I can't find the SNES version, but I have found the PlayStation version. So we're going to have a look at that. So, let's uh, get you a window and then see exactly what uh, Clock Tower is all about. And the only uh, association I've got with Clock Towers is um, nuts Americans with guns. So, who knows? I appear. I uh, I'm, imagine that um, Nutty Cluster's lost her internet. She's gone all quiet. Human. Hey, human. Okay, what are we loading?
He rolled the victim for a slash to death. With a knife? No, it sounds crazy, but it looks like they were killed with a giant pair of scissors. The giant scissors, once again, search for prey. A trail of terror stretches across Europe, from Norway to England. Wow. through this game of murder alive clock tower right i feel i should turn the light off for this go oh, that's a bit exorcisty in it Certainly some tubular bells going on there. New game. Let's go. All right, it's got a prologue. So, strap yourselves in. We could be here for some time. are you doing professor you mustn't hypnotize her like this she's not ready to remember the murders yet helen the clock tower it's the lady with the pointy boobs that's asleep not the professor why did she have to call him three times i must know the truth of what happened she can't take any more of this today professor i'm taking her home all right but remember one thing, Helen. You may be her guardian, but you are also my assistant. Yes. Ooh, hack at him. Stoppy fella. So, is it, what is it? Oh, oh, no, it's a point and click. It's Monkey Island with serial killers and less humour. Oh, I found hint number um, number one. What, what's what's hint number one? Oh, okay. Don't tell me, then. Miserable guess. Uh, yes, Naughty Cluster. This was requested by MDP official. Um, and it appears to be a point, point, point and click. Oh, if I point more, he runs, but he doesn't open drawers, so that's not good. Um, is there something in that cupboard that we can look at, or is it just... Nope, it's just the cupboard. There we go. Clock Tower Murders. The last murder of over ten victims in this case. How intriguing. I have to get the information out of her for future profiling materials. Okay. Come on, keep your mind on the subject. Is that a cravat you're wearing, sir? Are you Fred from Scooby Doo? Uh, why can't I? Why can't I select anything? Like the dog. Go the door. Right, so it's 
so I can get him to move places, but he won't, he won't interact now. Oh, there we go. It's back. So I will, you'll, do I have to interact with the switch before I interact with the door? Yes, I know it's just a light switch. Why won't you open the door? You know, bed. No! Ooh. Ooh. Well, MDP official, what can I say? I hope you don't. Oh! Yeah, they're always good things to have lying around, aren't they? These are a replica used by the murder. Bruh. So I wonder if I have to look at everything before I can get out of the room. Oh, somebody's taking a piss in the filing cabinet again. Jinky Scooby. Will you let me slatten it on out? Hurrah. Oh. Oh. We're loading. We're loading. It's a really irritating bug. I've got uh, a 10 terabyte drive on my Mac Studio and it sends the hard drive. The hard drives just go to sleep for no reason. Even if you're in the middle of using them, it's like you can hear it whirring up. It's like, oh, for frig's sake. I think it's something to do with um, Monterey. Hopefully, it might stop when I upgrade to Ventura. Statue, it is cold. Weird. Lady. Yes, yes. But I, can we can we do anything? Can we get somebody to investigate it? Hmm. Hmm. Angry, you say? Hmm. What? Oh, is she one of those? Is she, is she, is she like... Guess that what happens when they live together? on the computer. Go on, computer or something. Helen's desk. Is that it? Wow, what a load of rubbish. What's that Chewbacca face there? Come on, Chewbacca face. Scissorman's rubber mask. People certainly buy stupid things. I'm talking of stupid things. Guess we couldn't afford voices for uh, Clock Tower. Can we leave? There is still something I need to do in here. Oh, what? 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 What do you need to do? What else haven't we looked at? Check these computers out.
Harris has gone somewhere. If only I could leave, we might be able to find him. Well, it's gone silent, so I'm assuming that I'm about to walk through a door any second now. Any second now. Yay! But okay. That's not a thing. That's not a thing. Oh! Alright, Bob. Ah, you see, that's where he went. He went to the toilet. I mean, one assumes, right, that if somebody had recommended that I play it on Halloween, that it would get spooky at some point. Do you do you conquer? Oh, let's just talk to him again. Get all our talking out of the way. Um, is Jennifer? No, no. No, it's all right. Don't worry. Can we door? Can we do it? Do the door? No, we can't. Oh, should I have looked at that door? No, oh, don't go in there. The lift's not there. Ah. Well, it's loading another screen. Oh, it's proper raining here today. Wow. I'm glad I brought an umbrella through to get back to the house. Oh, 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 decisions. What floor are we on? I don't even know. Guess we're on two, seeing as I can't select two. Uh, I don't really know where I'm going. Let's go to three. There's no reason to go to three. I do like a game that says, stop being stupid. This is the options. Oh, the roof from the lift's missing. Ah! Right, get out. What's that? Do I select his kidney? <laughs> yeah, it's loading another... Wow. I wonder if the SNES one's any different. Because it can't have done these figures like this, could it? I wouldn't have thought. All right, Nolan. All right. He looks like a Tim. Oh, excuse me. Ah. Oh. Well, no, we're only at the start of the game, so. I don't know anything about this game, but the way it's structured, it's probably me. I mean, is it any point in carrying on talking to him? I mean, I suppose it could be the girl who's scissor man. You know, red herring, calling him scissor man. Oh, 
Let's go. Um, look. <sighs> I'm going to keep investigating Clock Tower and make sure I've got the right version for a start. I feel it's right. It's a killer with a massive pair of scissors. Seems to be the right thing. I'm curious on how the SNES version plays because... Because. Um... But this feels more like um, a mood piece that's going to take ages to play. But I will keep investigating and maybe, maybe in a couple of weeks, a few weeks time, we might come back. We might come back to Clock Tower um, once I've done a bit of digging. Uh, but this is the only version that I could actually find to download at the time. I do have other sources to check, but um, we have an awful lot of other stuff to get onto. So, uh, thank you for the suggestion, MDP official. That's Clock Tower. And like I say, we're not, we're not finished finished with it, but we're finished with it for tonight. There it goes. Uh, right, okay. So, that was the end of the PlayStation stuff. And now, we're going to cover a console that we've not touched during our Halloween specials so far. And that is the TurboGrafx-16 and the TurboGrafx-6 CD, uh, also known as the PC Engine in Japan. Um, we have four games to cover in the next half hour. So, as always though, if, if we play a game, we only give it five minutes or ten minutes or, you know, and you, you feel there might be something further down the line in that game that's worth checking out, then we're always happy to have another go. I want to say we, I mean me. Um... We'll return after these messages. Today's lesson. So the Turbo Graphics is quite good. I never, obviously, I never had them when I grew up. Um, as a child, I was a, a, a Mega Drive, Clecovision, so Atari, Clecovision, Mega Drive person, um, and then Saturn, Jaguar, and those sorts of things. So I never had a Turbo Graphics. Um, and it was, it feels like it was bigger in Japan than anywhere else. Um, so it's got a lot of just odd games um, that you don't, uh, don't know what to expect. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with Dead Moon. The screen's slightly different size because it's different consoles. So let's just have a move around. But let's move it that way and then shift it up. There we go. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, it's more square -er. Going to have some black bars either side, I'm afraid. Um, oh, I, I also, it's a little... Let me just shrink it, shrink it for me. And then... Enlarge it for you. Okay. Dead Moon. Blah, blah, story. Blah, story, blah, blah, blah. You can tell you're on the turbo graphic system because it's got press run button, not start. 
Okay. Again. I'm not feeling... Um, I'm not feeling the horror. Um, the article that I was reading... Oh. It plays with... Um, plays with analog sticks does the turbo graphics uh, which is a little disconcerting after you've just spent ages playing like a mega drive console oh so again let us stray uh, I thought this was a was a horror one being called Dead Moon. Wonder if somebody's just put it on the list because it's like, yeah, it's got dead in the title. On werewolves like moons. Let's let's. Uh... Oh. Disappointed. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, see, I'm going back to my D pad. Also good after you've been playing lots of running and whipping and types of um, uh, games. It's, it's good to just have a, a shoot at summer in it every now and again. This one, this bullet. Yes, Brit. Yeah. Let them kill me. Uh, that was Dead Moon. Um, I'm not playing anymore because it's not horror. Let's hope we have better luck with our next Turbo Graphics game. That you just heard there. Uh, yeah, so we are going to move on to Ghost Manor. Oh, where's Ghost Manor just gone? There it is. I won't actually know until we start playing it. Um, but 
let's have a look and then I'll tell you a little bit. Yeah, so we had, um, early on, we had an episode. Let's just turn it down a little bit. We had an episode dedicated to horror games where we did a whole bunch. And um, I was also using uh, my old Mac at the time, which was prone to crashing. And for some unexplicable reason, uh, I had a bit of a crash, but it only crashed part of it. So I, I actually carried on playing, little knowing that I wasn't streaming or recording. So, welcome to a repeat of those games. These these next um, next couple of games, this and Splatterhouse, we've already played in an imaginary version of this show. So, anyway, Ghost Manor. It's annoying. It's super difficult. And it's really fussy about its um, collision detection. Jump. Shoot. Oh, analog stick. I keep forgetting that. Jeez. So, stuck on this bit for freaking ages, I can tell you. Because it's got a really loosey-goosey um, jump on it. It's like a floaty jump. And you can never get to where you need to be. And it's like, oh, fuck. Oh, look, look. Oh, Let's go this way instead. So all these little stony platforms, you get on them, but then you can't stop yourself from moving forward. Like that then, did you say I nearly just fell off? Um, there's something I was supposed to do and I can't remember what it is. See, I should be able to jump over to here, but you just run off. So irritating. So irritating. Oh. Don't quite know why she can fire it. Whoa, 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 whoa. See, I can't shoot at that. What am I missing? So there's all these shoots as well into the water. Collision oh, detection again, like I told you. Oh, look at that. See, it's, she's so busy sliding, she can't do her next jump really quick. I 
and during the time where I wasn't uh, recording, and I should have been, I played this for freaking ages trying to get up here. I won't be doing it tonight. It's just so you can see it. Oh, fuck off. See, there's just nowhere to go. I think I have to. Now we're. Uh... It's just so frustrating. No, 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 no. <sighs> go on, eat me again, fish. There we go. Bye bye. Oh, it brought me back here. It didn't bring me back. Oh, for a sin of ragged. Fur Further sledged, well timed jumped. Jump, sorry. Well timed jump. Yes. But I see two problems with that. Which further sledge? And there's no way I can do a well timed jump in this game. At all. Alright, let's go left. Let's do it. And is it is it just Reminds me a bit of that um, that Olympic swimmer who's in Strictly Come Dancing at the moment. Right, there's no way out there. No, let me ah. Crawling for you, dumb nerd. Come on. Oh, for God's sake. It's the analog sticks. Really difficult. Right, thank you. Fuck, you know. Right, so. Can't get out that way. No, 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 <laughs> fucking bastard. Come on, let's keep going. Oh. Right. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's it. Anyway. That was Ghost Manor. The first time you're seeing it, second time I've had to play it. Enough. Enough, sir. Uh, right, after Ghost Manor. Let's do Horror Story first. We'll return after these messages. PC Engine. 590 Super Visual. 6 Channel Real Sound. New World of Seihatsu. PC Engine Zenkai. NEC. 
because then we'll do two splatter houses next to each other. Um, let's have a look. Horror Story. This is on the Turbo Graphics CD. So it's probably going to have really long loading times. Um, don't remember trying this one. I've got a horrible feeling. We've we, just recently, over this past few weeks, I've noticed that whenever we run a CD game, it's always one of those with crappy full motion video that's like a bloody, I don't know, detective puzzle or some shit like that. So it's possible we might start this and go, nope, nope. Let's see. Just a moment. Ah, massive Japanese title. That's that's a good sign. Okay. Killing things on trikes. Oh, oh, you only get one hit. Oh, you can't shoot upwards. See, the other thing that's weird is this game is actually played with the D-pad. How am I supposed to get on that roof? I can only crouch down and I can't, I don't have a, oh, so I do have a jump. But it doesn't appear to be doing me any good. No, that's a hard drive again. I'm so sorry. Imagine working with it all day. Oh! So that's how I get up there, is it? And... No, no, no. Did that pee? No, oh, dickhead, why did I do that? Didn't even get far enough to bloody. Whoa. Got me then, but I'm not bloody jumping. Don't know I'm getting them though. Oh, 
Nope. Okay, don't walk into the lava, sewage. Oh, that cloud was... I was on that cloud then. And now, for our last bunch of games. Bunch? Two. Two games it is. Uh, we're going to look at uh, the Turbo Graphics game Splatterhouse and the one of the sequels that was on the Mega Drive, Splatterhouse 3. Uh, now, I do remember playing this one as a youth. Um, I actually feel I played it on the arcade, to be honest with you. Um, but we're not going too deep because obviously we're uh, we're very short of time now. But um, we did play a little bit of Splatterhouse on our horror, horror show. And nobody saw it because it didn't record. So I think the first one is um, you have to rescue your girlfriend. Don't know. Right, so you can tell that this is the US version because he's got a purple ho hockey mask on and um, in the American, in, in the Japanese one, it was white. Very much like Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th. And um, Paramount didn't really like that. So they said, uh uh. uh. Why right, if I can't jump over that? Does it go away? Oh, what was that? There you go. I got that back then. Oh, crouchy down, bats. It's not fair. Crouch you down, back. They looked a bit, I don't know what, alien y? These should have sound effects on these worms. Is that it? 
Stage two. Could. We're not doing it now, but we should have maybe looked at the arcade room. Maybe done some arcade horror. So that's not really what you get. I hope I climbed down that ladder and didn't just fall. Now a lot, I'm gonna die in a minute. Ah, well. There we go. That was Splatterhouse 1, the original, but on the Turbo Graphics, not on the arcade. Uh, and we're gonna end with a Mega Drive game uh, in honor of Nutty Cluster, who does love her Mega Drive. Um, and this is Splatterhouse 3. And I think you'll find it's very similar. Which is why I didn't play a lot of um, Splatterhouse uh, 1. Uh, Numcot. In fact, I see that this is a Japanese ROM, so it's very possible. It might be on. I think we'll be able to work it out even if it was uh, you see it looks it looks here we are see he's looking a bit jasony this time oh where's my punch oh it's that one <laughs> Jennifer cowers in Hinding and escapes from the monsters. Well, if only I knew where Hinding was. them really I should look at a, should look at a map is there a map how do I get a map no map not just yet oh so I used my um used my special ability and turned into a predator But it only lasts for a little time.
that's not spooky at all. Oh, what are them? Fortune users. Can I get that? Oh, I can. we learn don't get in the middle of them reach again. Jennifer smells of rot of the grave. Jennifer! Did I. Is she dead? <laughs> what on earth is he doing? Stay still, you little bastard. Perhaps I need to press more than one button. Oh, roundhouse kick.
Come on, you little shit. Come on, stay down. Well, the missus is dead anyway. I mean, I've only got one minute left to save her if this isn't... Well, sorry, sorry, Jennifer, but that's it for this evening. That's it. Jenna, my girl, let's uh, shoot back to here because after a well-earned rest, um, it's not Halloween next week. It's November. And um, we're going to have a little bit of a, 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 a stretch of normality, if you could call it that, during November. Uh, we may even have the um, the Nutty Cluster special during November. Oh, we could save that for next year. Who knows? We may, may even work out uh, whatever the game is. Um, what's it called? She says scrolling through this, the uh, thing. Terraria. We may even have a play of Terraria. Uh, I'll get together with Nutty Cluster and we'll see what we can organise. Um, but, but, it's time for... The Wheel! It's not been here in all of October. Um, but here we are. The Wheel. Um, newly filled back up. So... Um, for now, what we'll do is we'll find out ostensibly what we're playing next week and then we will um, let you know about the specials as we get them. Um, so, um, if it lands on horror, I'm going to ignore it because we've done horror all week, all October. So, uh, so here's the wheel and um, let's have a spin. Phew, I thought it was going to land on horror. Um, okay, so then, um, we, 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 when, when I first started, I had this idea of doing same game, different system. And we play same game and see how it was interpreted by all the different consoles that I've got access to. Um, so that's what this is. But what we'll do is we'll have a look and see. But we're playing Rampage. Next week, we're looking at Rampage in all its forms, um, the different versions and world tours and all the things uh, of Rampage. The building smashing guide you uh, arcade game that I do remember playing, um, playing in an arcade in... Orlando Airport in the 80s. Rampage. Wow. Okay, cool. Um, I've not used the wheel window for so long. Let's uh, move back to the proper one. So, that's it. Thank you. Thank you for joining me on Halloween night when you could have been scaring trick-or-treaters or watching a horror film or something and you chose to spend it with me. Thank you very much. Um... If you uh, like, follow, subscribe, um, comment below. If you're watching us on YouTube, 
then um, drop us a comment if any game you, you fancy us checking out, like MDP Official did. And um, if you join us live on Twitch, you can comment while we're actually streaming and see how we get on. Um, if you want, if you're old school and you want to email us, you can do. Yes, retro at snugradio.co.uk. That's retro at snugradio.co.uk. That's also the website. That's the website for our uh, podcast that we've been doing for 18 years. Uh, me and my mate um, is Snug Radio. And um, where else are we? So we've already spoken about YouTube. Snug Radio, obviously. Uh, so we're also on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, all the others. Ask Snug Radio. Um, TikTok's run by Nutty Cluster uh, for us. Not not the whole of TikTok. She doesn't run TikTok, uh, but she runs our TikTok. And um, yes, it's. Uh, Yeah. <laughs> you know that time of night when your brain starts going... Brrr. There you go. That's it. Um, I think that's all of it. But if you look for Snug Radio, there we are. And uh, if we love it if you followed us, subscribed, um, YouTube's ringing bells and notifications and all that sort of shit. Um, all that is great. It's great. Just get in touch with us. And if you know somebody who likes retro games then share the show because we'd like to be able to do perhaps a community um, event like one evening where we play Jackbox games or some such or maybe a Steam game together or something like that and we'll stream that. So um, if you know somebody that wants to get involved or wants to be, is interested in retro games, tell them to give me a shout. So ha have a good uh, rest of Halloween bit late now um but we'll see you next week in november um, for more retro games so play something retro i've been math this has been snug radio's retro lounge that's it for now goodbye <laughs> <laughs>